Autonomous taxis have already taken over Phoenix and SF. Here's what it's like to ride in one. There's no one in the front seat. Calling a Waymo car is just like any other rideshare, but when it pulls up, it has letters on the top that correspond to your app, so you can easily find it. Once you're close, it'll let you click unlock in the app. Waymo's entire fleet is Jaguar I-Paces, which are electric. And inside, these cars are fancy. First, they hit you with a welcome message and some spaceshipy music. To start your ride, you can either hit the button on the middle console or in the app. You've got to get buckled kind of quickly because they give you this daunting countdown. Heading to Match Market and Bar. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. Then you're off. It is so freaky at first to see that wheel turn by itself. It's like a ghost is driving. It actually stops at every stop sign. Very wacky. For all us backseat drivers, we can easily follow along on the console screen. Cars and pedestrians show up as icons. It reassured me a bit that Waymo was aware of its surroundings, even if it still had some learning to do. There was a fire sheriff with his sirens on and the Waymo just zoomed through the light. I would say the prices were pretty on par with Uber, if not a little cheaper. The rides are pretty smooth, the cars are clean, and I felt safe the entire time. Don't forget your belongings. But I couldn't help but think about all the lovely Uber drivers who have given me life advice throughout the years. What will this do to them?